Hey guys, so you probably heard me a few times if you've been watching my videos, but we've had a, a number of tenants, not actually a lot, a small percentage, there's always a small percentage of idiots, um, a small percentage of, of tenants that have been trying it on. They're not going through any hardship, they can't prove it, they're not serious, but they're basically saying, if you don't drop my rent down to free, or 50%, or whatever, then I'm gonna hand my notice in and you won't get a new tenant, you know? And it's that sort of vindictive, you know, attitude which is just like, on your bike, piss off, you know. Um, I didn't say that word, but anyway. Um, but the, the point is here is that some people have taken that approach. Now, it's backfired on them to a large degree because, you know, so far, there's no one that I've seen. We may have a few that have agreed, um, you know, things, but nobody, none of our landlords have agreed stupid stuff, you know. And generally, what we've been agreeing to is where people are genuinely in that situation, you know, and we've got no problems with that. It's the people who've been trying this on, and I had one of my tenants try that on, you know, and it was like, if you don't do this, if you don't do that, you know, and basically I just went, stick it up your bum, get out of here. Um, and so the guy handed his note, he handed his notice in, but of course now he's trying to backtrack on his notice, but I've already decided that I'm gonna turn that into, I'm gonna take that property and, and use that because obviously, um, it's a great property where it is. It's in city centre, and I figured, well, that can be a bit of a uh, a staycation place for the team, and you know who, because basically we're not going to be able to get a place in Spain that we go to, and the team can use whenever they want, and um and so effectively we're not really going to be flying to Spain too much this year. So I figure I'll get this tenant out, I'll put the furniture in there, make it all beautiful, you know, to sort of a service apartment spec, and then I'll um and then when people can go up there and, and use it, so you know that sort of thing so it's backfired on him and that's what's happening now and the great thing is the reason that has happened is because the market has opened back up and we're able now to let we're able to move people in and out we're able to function like a normal market albeit with the restrictions of you know not being able to um, you know so being able to having to social distance and you know PPE and all that sort of stuff but um, you know that's good news because you know nobody likes someone who bloody you know price gouges and takes advantage of these opportunities and that sort of stuff. You know, I've got no problem with taking advantage of opportunities, but when you're being an opportunist and price gouging and stuff like that, you know, bugger off, you know. So it's it's actually good news that we've, you know, told these people to stick it up their bum. Um, but yeah, no, guys, good. You know, so it's good news, and I think, you know, we'll continue to get the good news as the market develops and gets back to norm, and hopefully, I mean, there hasn't been a huge amount of people losing their jobs and and really being in a position where they're desolate, desolate. You know, um, it really has been. There's been a level of support there that has enabled to keep them paying rent, and that's fantastic for the industry, fantastic for tenants, because we really don't want tenants that owe huge amounts of money and we've got to chase them for it and all that sort of stuff, um, because it's not it's not their fault, you know. But likewise, we don't want the landlords to be in the same situation where. They have mortgages and bills and all this sort of stuff, and and we don't want them in a the position. So it's great the government has stepped up to the plate on that. Um, thank goodness we're in the UK and not uh, in uh, Trump, um, you know Trump in the US. Because yeah, unless you're a billionaire, you're pretty much screwed, I think, over there. But anyway, guys, have a great day. Live with passion, and I'll speak soon. See you later. Bye.